Hey guys, happy Thursday. Long time no see. I uh, want to start this out by saying I'm really sorry. I um, I know that there are a few things that I do that I'm involved with that I discuss ad nauseum to some maybe um, that are helpful to others. I know that I am a resource to some and I know that my experience has been uh, been able to shed light on on what you're going through and that's why I'm sorry I'm sorry that I have fallen off of my of my mission my daily mission to get healthier to um, to stay to stay more fit to make better choices and to help those of you that are struggling along the way with my message, with my videos, with my chats, with my Wednesday walks, whatever. Um, the Anti-Fat Equation Chronicles was created because I have struggled with weight my whole life and I needed something to keep myself accountable and daily videos were burning me out and I let life get back in the way, and instead of living in the moment and respecting that I know how easy it is to put the weight on and how hard it is to get it off. I've done it so many times, I'm starting to lose count. Um, I've lost over 100, 100 pounds on multiple occasions. And just last December, I was down to about 235. And gradually started putting weight back on after Sovas. Um, <clears throat> it took me off of my routine for a bit. And then I couldn't seem to get back on track. And then a week turned into a month. A month turned into three months. And I put back on 35 pounds. Or 30, 32 pounds. <sighs> It's hard. Um, I'm not going to make any excuses. I just need to stop worrying about tomorrow, forget about the past, and live for right now. All we really have is right now. I've lost a lot of friends in the last couple of years. A lot of people have been, a lot of people have passed away. And uh, life. <laughs> Life doesn't offer reprieve, like, time is undefeated, you know what I mean? When it's your time, it's your time. There's no, there's no way around it. But I'm not going to help that time get here faster by um, continually gorging and stuff that I don't need to be eating, being complacent, laying around when I can be moving around. And so I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I've let you down. I'm sorry I've let myself down. Um, but you know me. I'm tenacious. Or maybe you want to call me stubborn. And that's okay too. I'm a little stubborn. It must be that Irish blood in me. Um, I am stubborn. And I'm not going to give up on myself ever. Things are going really well for me career-wise. And... It would be a shame to work this hard to start a start building a career just to I don't know drop dead from a heart attack. So my mission, should I choose to accept it, and I do, is to get healthy, and I'm starting right now with a nice walk in the sunshine. The sunshine has blessed us once again in the state of Washington. It's not here often, but when it is, it sure is nice. Oh. Speaking of, uh, the fam, the immediate fam, the in-house fam. See, it, it's when I have. I want to be all inclusive, but when I say the fam, the fa if I say the family and I are moving, then what I mean is the people that are directly affected by my household, the roof that I have correct currently over children's heads. I have three grown children as well, and I love them dearly, and they know this. And um, two of them are married and starting their own uh, 
one has children of her own and they've well underway starting their lives as adults. And I was honored to welcome my middle daughter, Miranda, um, just recently. And it was, it was Easter weekend, but it was the Saturday before Easter. And what a thrill. She was so beautiful and so full of life and promise and excitement for what's to come. Here, here's a little, here's a little couple pictures and clips from that event. That was such a treat to be able to do that. And then, um, I'm not going to give you everything that's been going on since last we spoke, because it's been a lot, but I uh, was honored, thrilled to have the opportunity to see uh, my friends Rob Paulson and Maurice LaMarche and uh, um, they were doing Animaniacs Live at the Kirkland Theater which is a beautiful venue that I've never been to in Kirkland, Washington. It's a nice, nice location. Lovely, lovely venue. And the show was awesome. It was so cool. I got to see behind the scenes stuff on Animaniacs that I'd never seen or heard of. Um, songs, um, just kind of like some inside scoop. It was, it was so dope. It was so much, so much fun. Um, uh, Randy Rogel is writes brilliant music brilliant music mo and robbie were just perfect man it was awesome it was quite an honor to be there in their presence and to experience that live um what else has happened uh we always do a lot of work we can't talk about so i'm, I'm just gonna from now on that's an inevitability right just know that i've been busy constantly busy and uh that's a good thing something current current events i just signed up and joined the uh tina morasco library she is a brilliant coach she is a brilliant actor teacher and friend and she has put together a course of her her coaching style and it's insightful, and I've just begun to dig into it, and it's amazing. Tina, if you see this by any chance, thank you so much. We adore you, and we appreciate everything about you. Thank you for, for creating this thing. It's awesome. Um, super excited. Going to uh, Rent and Retro next month on the 13th. To see my mentor and friend Steve Bloom and his amazing, amazingly gifted, amazingly talented, amazingly wonderful, perfect yin to his yang, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. Um, and I've never met Mary, so very, uh, you know, okay, so with Mary Lynn Wisner, if you don't say Mary Lynn, you're not saying her name right. And I'm not actually positive if Mary Elizabeth likes her whole name to be used or um, or not. So, for for fear of 
misrepresentation, I will call her Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, a director on my bucket list, a wonderful human being. I've had a chance to be in like a couple of webinars with her. Um, and I've just, I mean, she's perfect for my mentor. She is, she completes him and it's amazing. He completes her, I'm sure, I, <laughs> I would imagine. And they're so beautiful together. They're so transparent, so kind and loving and all that perfect nerdy excellence that you love. Um, and so they're doing a Cowboy Bebop reunion. That'll be fun. Uh, Bo Billingsley will be there. I'm not sure who else, but I'm looking forward to that. And whomever from the Martin clan can join me. I think that catches us up, man. I'm going to finish doing this nice walk. It's beautiful out. I'm going to get a few miles in. And then I'm going to take wifey to see Renfield. That, all, that looks like a really good time at the movies. So take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And thanks for tuning in. Nice and finally mice will be in control. The moment has come, yes, the dolphin is hurled. The future's here, so give a cheer. Yes, my friends, we're taking the world. We're Mickey and the Rain. So let me not explain. Alexander, Caesar, Constantine, Napoleon, Charlemagne. We're all a bunch of hats. It's time to face the facts. Earth is finally going to see the greatest mouse they'll ever be. Hello, the wildest destiny. Yes, my friends, that mouse is me. Not Piggy. Not Piggy. What? Just the brain. Well, I'm Piggy. Oh, all right, Ed.